Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Excel learning series with Sayyid. So far we have learned how to manage dates using autofill and we have also seen how to calculate age and tenure using some of the date functions. In this video I will help you understand how to format dates using standard and custom formats. To follow along with me, you can download this workbook using the link in the video description. As always, I have two worksheets in this workbook, see it and do it. See it is where I will demonstrate and do it is where you will practice. So let's begin. So let me select the column here with the dates and to go into the options to see how I can format dates I have different ways to reach that options window I can press control and 1 on my keyboard to bring in the formatting window and select the date category I can also click on the little drop down here in the numbers group of home ribbon to select short date and long date or click on more number formats and that will bring me the format cells window again. I can also click on this little handle that is at the corner of the number group that will bring me the format cells window. So this is how I will reach the format cells window in Excel. Now let me select a date category from the listed options here I will have different types of formats the moment I select the format a sample of that format display will be shown here you can see the moment I'm switching to a different format a sample is changing with the display of my current dates you would also want to focus on the locale information this will give you different types of formats that are used as standards in that particular location. For example, at this moment my locale is set to English India. If I change it to English Canada, look what happens in the type. See, I have different types now based on the location of Canada. These are the standard types of days that are used in that location. If I switch it to say English uh, Australia I have different set of types now so let me switch it back to English India and here let me select 14th March this format will give me the display as two digit dates full name of the month and year in four digits now if I click on OK you can see that format is in effect now. Now let me go ahead and press control 1 one more time on my keyboard to switch this format to a different one. Using standard formats you can play around you can switch to different kinds of dates in your Excel. Let me try the custom format. Here you can make dates according to your taste or your requirement inside Excel. D letter denotes day M denotes month and Y denotes year. In here you will also find the options for hours, minutes and seconds. So let me go ahead and select one of the custom formats available here. If I select DDMMMYY you will notice in the sample it shows it's a two digit day, three letter month and two letter year. I can change it. I can click inside this box which says type. In here I can enter one more D and the sample shows me that I have the day spelled out. A short form of day. If I enter one more day the complete name of the day is being spelled out. Similarly if in the month I put in one more M it will say the complete name of that month and here in YY I will enter one more Y with that I get the complete set of 
2017 the four digit wise however the standard is to enter four wise so I will enter one more Y there and click on OK see that this usually takes quite a good amount of space uh, horizontally and is not recommended very often however you can switch to different types and uh, you know make it suitable according to your report I hope you're finding this really helpful while dealing with dates this kind of formatting will come in really handy I request you to play around with different formats try to make a mix of different formats and see what comes out in case you get stuck do not hesitate to write a comment in the section below and I'll be happy to help you for regular updates subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon for notifications of new videos thank you until next time